Hi everyone, uh, this is Ken from Orion Telescopes, and I wanted to uh, just show you a quick example of what the G24 camera can do. Um, uh, I, I'm using PixInsights as just a, a picture of the camera. But um, I took, uh, actually a couple of months back, I did a shot of NGC 891. Let's get rid of this. Um, this is NGC 891, and I was just blown away by the, the quality of the image. Um, I hope this comes across in the video. Uh, if not, we're going to upload this to the little the, the thumbnail pictures underneath the main images uh, on the G24 uh, webpage. Uh, so NGC 891. Um, this was a series of two-minute exposures. Um, the the these uh, CMOS cameras today. I am just amazed at the sensitivity and what you get in such a short exposure because the, the read noise is so low compared to older CCD cameras. Um, so I took uh, 50 two-minute exposures um, and stacked them all together in PIX insights. Actually, all the processing here was done in PIX. Um, and I forgot to change the name, so you can probably see this is some of my uh, notes to myself in the in the uh, file title as to what I did. I, uh, I did a little bit of deconvolution and an arc sign stretch to pull out some of the color. Um, and that's actually one of the things that I really liked about this shot. The, the star colors are, are great. I mean, some people might argue maybe I went a little too far, um, and these are a little bit too colorful stars, but heck, I like it. Um, I mean, you get these uh, yellowy-orange stars, you get some nice blue ones, some white ones. Um, I used the, um, the telescope I used was the 12-inch the RC, the Truss 12 RC, so it's a pretty big scope. It's F8, though, so it's, it's really, I mean, when you're thinking about astrographs, um, that's a pretty slow um, telescope, you know, usually an astrograph like a reflector, an 8-inch, or eight, we have an 8-inch f3.9, um, that's super fast, so this exposure could be really short. So, what, so just keep that in mind, this is f8, and still only 2-minute exposures, 50 of them stacked, so that's like an hour, a little over an hour and a half of exposure. Um, so I guess the point there is you don't need to have a huge telescope that's, you know, the 12 inch is fairly expensive, fairly big, so you need a big mount. But if you were to put uh, like our relatively inexpensive six inch F4 reflector on a, on a smaller mount, maybe the Skyview Pro, um, you could either get away with much shorter exposures than two minutes, or you could go even deeper uh, in terms of faint background detail uh, with a two minute exposure. Um, there was a bunch of satellites that, that track through a bunch of the images, and that's another nice thing about having fairly short exposures. You don't get planes and, and satellites, you know, ruining a lot of the exposures. Um, you can just toss a two-minute exposure and just, you know, stack 49 of them instead of 50, or however many you've got. Um, so, uh, let's see, uh, the camera settings I used for this, um, it was HCG mode, it was, um, uh, oh man, I forget the gain setting, I think it was 5, it was either 5 or 10. I think that was even more, I, I've since uh, started putting gain of zero or one uh, on most of these things just because it's nice to have the, the full well capacity so high um, and you don't need to push the gain very far. So a very low gain, HCG mode is great for very low noise and uh, yeah, you know, just start taking two to three minute exposures and stack a bunch of them and you get some amazing results with these cameras. All right, thank you very much. Clear skies.